visitors enjoying the vibrant party scene that Miami has forever offered are now taking their celebrations to the decks of the bustling city's luxurious yachts. Ever since word got out of these raunchy parties filled with models and bikinis and a strong presence of liquor and drugs, federal agents have honed in on some of the cruises they've regarded as illicit. A week-long operation concluded Sunday when U.S. Coast Guard officers seized the 147-foot Golden Touch II while it was docked at the popular Sea Spice Brasserie and Lounge on the Miami River. Snapchat footage obtained by the Miami Herald shows a small group of men and women drinking, talking and zoned out on their cellular phones as a couple of federal agents stood by while a DJ kept the party going inside the lavish vessel. Dot Coast Guard crash is a legal yacht party in Miami loaded, 0% progress, 0% 0 o'clock P-R-E-V-I-O-U-S-P-L-A-Y-S-K-I-P-L-I-V-E-M-U-T-E 0 o'clock current time 0 o'clock duration time 0 14 full screen e text video Q-U-A-L-I-T-Y 576 P 540 P 360 P 270 no compatible the source was found for this video. Dailymail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018 916 4 FC8 B5 E600 Image of 11536,247,217,220. JPG height equals 793 width equals 634 alt equals class equals put border in share copy link to paste in your message share this article share authorities arrested the yacht's owner, Randy Frank Postma, who was charged with operating an illegal charter after an undercover officer shelled out $9,000 to rent the boat. The Golden Touch 2 case highlights how seriously the Coast Guard and our partner agencies take illegal charters, you. S. Coast Guard Captain Michael Fazio said in a press release. The staff judge advocate with the Coast Guard 7 District also added that the owners and operators are putting at risk the lives of the people they embark and will be held legally liable, especially after Postma's vessels was penalized with a captain of the port order after another illegal charter had been operated on August 20. Dailymail.co.uk I knew Pix 2018 FC8C51F0000057801 Image of 31536247272667 Pix 2018 fc 8 c 52 a 0 Image of 41536247286227 JPG height equals 1055 width equals 634 alt equals class equals put order in share copy link to paste in your message the federal sting dubbed operation Pax defender also terminated two other yachts that were illegally operated the blessed and the it's all good since april the feds have zeroed in on the illegal law charters after a miami man and his friends paid three thousand dollars to spend four hours on the miami vice vessel 
According to the Miami Herald, the boat was operated by Mauricio Alvarez, 49, and his son Andrew Tarsicio. Alvarez, who did not possess a captain's license and no proper training, was about to sail away after the 91-foot yacht had been sitting idle at Monument Island and put the vessel on reverse, but didn't see if there was anyone in the water. The propellers then sucked in raw Minetta's 25, instantly killing him. Alvarez plead guilty to one count of misconduct on a ship and will be sentenced November 19. The U.S. Coast Guard's arrest of Postma took place after yacht owner Seth Gisson, who boasted of his friendship with star athletes, was arrested August 11. Gissend was slapped with charges that included the illegal operation of a yacht, dubbed No Rules 2, and was released on a $50,000 bond. Dailymail.co.uk I knew picks 2018 9 6 16 4 FCA B5 B300 million 578 6 million Dailymail.co.uk I knew picks 2018 9 6 17 4 FCA B68 billion 200 million 538,6 million JPG high equals 845 width equals 634 alt equals class equals put order imp share copy link to paste in your message a week before his arrest, the U. S Coast Guard pulled over the yacht because it was over it was overboard with about 50 people. As investigators said Gisson was trying to hide the fact that the yacht had been leased to the partygoers by ordering them to say that they were his personal guests, when in fact they had paid $5,000 for the rental. The Coast Guard's operation in the 7th District also netted several other illegal charter operations that included 20 boardings throughout the Miami area, 17 boardings throughout the Key West area. The agents issued a total of 15 violations in the Key West and Miami areas, 